Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video. Thank you all the members of the Patreons. Make sure to subscribe and let's get into it. So it's fix it again. Of course, Wednesday, always the day that they put all these things. So let's talk about it a little bit. They say that now APHE, AP, HE, heat rounds, basically all single types of rounds will have their unique sounds to it. So interesting. Apparently you could, in theory, um, hear what is actually hitting you. Uh, by the sound, sound. so identify the round that it's hitting you by the sound, which is interesting to say the least. And they basically just improved the sound for ground battles in general, for, you know, rounds in general, so it's a little bit more brighter and stuff. So, yeah, makes sense, right? Uh, now they are going to add a new type of way to actually search for the vehicles that you want to shoot at your tank to actually analyze the protection. We are, we are going to take a look on that. Ghost Bridge on the Alaskan map, apparently there was a bug there that basically prevented, I mean, the, the bridge like went down, it got destroyed, but then the bombs couldn't hit the target anyway or something like that, unless you actually use the bulldozer of a tank to actually move some ground under the bridge. So a very, very weird bug that was fixed. Uh, exceptional quality, uh, they changed it a little bit how you actually uh, choose the ultra high quality models in Steam. So uh, if you have Steam, go and search for the DLCs that the War Thunder have, and then you can like download it. The high resolution uh, texture packs, you know, so very, very interesting. And they fix it a bug apparently with that. And then we have the list of changes over here. You can pause it to take a look. Uh, I will take a quick look to see if there is anything interesting. If not, we are going to just skip it. So for the ground, there isn't much like a bigger change or anything like that. There are some gear ratio changes, some, you know, bugs that were fixed in depending on the tanks, uh, some velocity, some weights of rounds that were uh, changed as well, some armor plates and different materials that were fixed depending on the tank. So you, as I said, you can pause it and take a look. Uh, these links will be in the description as well, uh, but there isn't much of a big thing for aircraft. So some minor things, uh, more bug fixes. So the Tornado F3, for example, uh, got its bug fixed that you could lock targets at a greater range than its designated range on the radar. So interesting. Some other changes in, you know, like the uh, Huey here, for example, X-ray view changes. Um, minigun was apparently, um, I mean, the, the, the 30 millimeter XM 140 cannon it had the description of the minigun, so some changes like that, right? Also, a uh, ballistic calculator for, bo for bombs for the F-84B, so now it has the labs, which is basically CCRP, very, very interesting. Um, some changes to custom loadouts for the SU-22 and F-9F bugs, basically fix it. And also a bug fix it for the AJ and the MLU F-16s, uh, where the AGM-65 guidance camera uh, were, was basically blocked when the aircraft was damaged, uh, so that was fixed it as well. For RM and graphical interface sound, basically there isn't much of a big thing here. They're basically fixing a bug where the heat and HE rounds got, and smoke got uh, no, basically not detonate when hitting the water. Uh, so the, the graphical bug was the Alaska map that I told you guys before. Uh, and some other, pro uh, like the pr protection analysis were added, as I'm going to show to you guys. The sound changes over here, you can actually see the sound changes that are described over here. So, nothing too big, to be to be honest. Like, it was kind of a, a small one. Uh, but let's just test it out, the new uh, protection analysis over here. Let me check. Yes, you can basically, res uh, basically search for it. So, M1HU, for example. Yeah, you get to that. So this is actually pretty cool. Oh, interesting. So Abrams. Yeah, Abrams. So let's put, I don't know, BMP3. BMP3. So yeah, very, very cool to see this. That way you can actually get faster the vehicle that you want. Uh, and then the sounds were changed, but um, I'm not going to show that too much. You know, uh, it is quite not that big of a deal, but it is pretty cool as well. But in a, anyway, guys, this was it. Uh, small changes, nothing else to actually talk about. So leave it in the comments. What do you want to see? Um, you know, there isn't much that I can actually mention and talk about this month, guys. Uh, it's basically one of the 
slowest lo slowest months of uh, the year, you know. These together with November are two very, very slow months. Then, yeah, there is not much that I can do besides trying to speculate a little bit on what is coming, try to look at the bug fixes and stuff, and basically do just gameplay. So if you want to see a specific type of video, let me know in the comments. Okay, guys, I see you guys in the next one. And a disclaimer, by the way, if you notice my audio a little bit weird, uh, it's not my mic, okay? Uh, it's actually, I use an AI uh, system from Adobe to actually filter out the outside sounds, right? So sometimes when I use certain frequencies with my voice, uh, like not by purpose, right? Uh, when I'm laughing, for example, or something like that, the sound might be kind of weird because the AI is still learning how to use that. It's kind of a beta, uh, but it is a very easy way to actually uh, filter out, uh, you know, external sounds compared to just n using normal methods. It's a way better filtering out. It basically filters out everything that the microphone hears it. Uh, but sometimes it distorts a little bit. So if you get too bad, I will stop do like using that system. But uh, for now, I think it's fine. Um, let me know in the comments what you think about it as well. Okay, guys, subscribe. Bye. See ya.